What's going on guys? Jones Aviation back here with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a quick two song airport update for you guys. Um, I love, I just want you all to know, Tucson Airport is by far my favorite airport update to make for you guys. <clears throat> um, so there's one reason why it's going to be coming out a lot lately. Another reason is because, of course, Islip is still under a major renovation. I'm practically kind of redoing the whole airport. And um, I don't really have any other airports to do because KGDA is terminated. And I have a new fictional airport coming, but I have to wait for some more supplies to come in the mail. Um, and Burbank, I'm just waiting for an Avalo plane, so... Got yeah, a little while, uh, but just letting you guys know, we're gonna have a lot of Tucson updates, so I'm really pumped for that. So we're just gonna start off here at a heart stand, uh, kind of at the back of the B concourse area. Here is, uh, for perspective, there's B11. Right back here we have just one little CRJ 900 for American, operated by uh, Mesa Airlines. <clears throat> uh, we're just currently just sitting idle here. There, right back there, we have a SkyWest CRJ 700. Uh, which is currently just waiting. It's offered by American Eagle. Uh, it's currently just hanging out here at gate B5, which is like the storage overflow gate. Um, he's waiting for an, an open slot at the SkyWest terminal. He's here for maintenance. And here we have the Tucson, uh, I'm sorry, Phoenix International Guard, K135 with the Arizona tail, which is doing touch and goes down here in Tucson. And then here we have the uh, Air Force Two C32A, which is uh, here with the Vice President and some other officials to go visit one of our major hospitals. Then right here we have the American Airlines Airbus A320, which is finished loading on bags. I'm sorry, this is Airbus A321, uh, which just finished loading on bags. He's gonna make a flight down to Dallas Fort Worth. He just had the uh, the bags just finished loading. Then right here we have our American Eagle uh, CRJ900, operated by Mesa Airlines, also, uh, which is currently loading up for a flight down to Phoenix. Then right here we have another Mesa Airlines operated uh, American Eagle CRJ900, which will be, uh, it's just currently here uh, for maintenance. Again, it's just waiting, kind of resting, just had the maintenance completed. And that's gonna take B8 uh, when the other flight's done with it. And it's also gonna head up to Phoenix. Then right here we have our Alaska Airlines 737-800 in honoring the serve livery, just direct from Seattle. Then just pushing back right there is a lot of energy models. Delta Airlines are bus A321 in the thank you livery, which will be heading out to Atlanta. Here's our Delta Connection number, or I'm sorry, CRJ700, which is uh, just sitting idle, and we'll be making a flight down to Salt Lake City. Right here is our Southwest 737-700 with split scimitars in the heart livery, which is going to be heading up to Denver. Then pushing back right here, we have our absolutely gorgeous Canyon Blue 737-700, for Southwest Airlines with the split scimitar winglets, uh, which is gonna be heading out to uh, Las Vegas. Here at Gate Alpha 7, we have our A7, Alpha 7. We have our United Express uh, Bombardier CRJ200, uh, operated by SkyWest Airlines, which is currently uh, loading up and getting ready to push back for his flight up to Denver. Then right here we have our United Express CRJ200 pushing out Gate A5. Um, it's currently on pushback here, operated by SkyWest Airlines. This aircraft will be heading up to San Francisco. Then here, right here on one one left, we have the Kalita Air Cargo Boeing 747-400, which arrived in on a charter cargo flight from Anchorage, um, supporting supplies for the pandemic. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the airport update, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this update. I love making these Tucson updates, and I hope you guys love watching them. We have a lot of awesome new aircraft in for the next Tucson update, so make sure to stay tuned for that content. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say for this video, guys. Um, oh, one more thing. I do want to share with you guys my kind of new tactic. If I fill up all the gates and show all of the flights in a day at one airport update, I just feel like it's really realistic now that I look back. So now what I'm doing is I'm just doing like kind of realistic, like what you'd see... This um, airport update takes place uh, from 1 to 3 p.m. So, yeah. All right. Anyways, guys, that's it. See you later. Bye.